one. It's at home with Mindy here. I keep forgetting to say we're a family of four adults. Got that out of the way this time. Right, we have been naughty. I know it's locked down, but we did travel six miles to this shop. So I don't know what the rules are on how many miles to go, but we did go the six miles because it's in our next... We live in Bognor Regis in West Sussex, in England. We went to Little Hampton, so it's about six miles. But my husband travels that every day for work anyway, that distance. But um, we'll get on with the shopping. I went to Farm Foods. They opened in Little Hampton, I think it was August or September. We haven't actually been, so I was just in shock when I got there. The prices were amazing. But um, we'll start with, these were the first things we picked up. Hot and spicy chicken portions, a kilo and a half. They're $3.99 or you can mix anything like $3.99 becomes free for a tenner. And I went to the guy and I said, I've never been here before. Is it just in this one freezer? And he said, no, it's across the whole shop. So it can be... A box of something on the shelf if it says any free for a tenner you can mix it so that was brilliant but like I said this was $3.99 and um, to go with it we've got eight gammon steaks that is 900 grams so and the hot and spicy chicken wings so hopefully we like hot and spicy because we could have got barbecue but it's the flavour my hubby picked out because I can't drive so I couldn't have gone on my own but that one's a kilo so those three things were a tenner these were it's 99p or a pound for the eight skinless sausages they don't weigh as much they're only, normally I get a kilo for that price. Um, they're under 500 grams anyway. But we haven't had Irish flavoured sausages for a long time. So I wanted to try those. This, there's no label. It's kind of, we picked up one that didn't have it. But it is two and a half kilo of the... In America they call them tenderloins, but they're chicken mini fillets. So, but two and a half kilos will make a lot of meals, but that was six ninety nine. And then they've got I think Iceland's do these as well. They're pork pies, but you buy them in the freezer. There's Ronnie ninety nine P. Um you've got frozen bacon 16 smoked rashes that was three packets for six pounds and something we haven't had for years was the square sausage that was i'm going to say 99p it's either yeah i might be a penny out i didn't concentrate that much on it i was more interested in whether it's like 199 2.99 rather than the actual penny bit but I'm sure it was like 99p. Um, we got some sausage burgers. These are 199, but it's nice to have something different than just pork uh, beef burgers. So we're going to give those a try. The French fries. It's 1.25 kilos. They were 79p, so that's quite a good price. These were an excellent price. It's the same weight as the Tesco's ones I get from my daughter. I pay one seventy five for hers. These were two for a pound. So she's got two boxes there. Um, I don't know why I put these in. I was going to do non-frozen in a minute. But I didn't realise the brand until I got home. I know back in the 80s, Brook Bond was a big brand. But 80 tea bags for 39p. I got two boxes because 
my cupboard is out. I've only got what's in the teapot sort of thing. Um, these, I know Findlers used to do some, but these are Farm Foods own. Uh, crunchy pancakes with cheese inside. They're 99p, so because we haven't had them for years, we thought we'd get them for... I don't know if they're suitable for vegetarians. Yeah, they are. So they'll be for the vegetarian daughter. And then eight beef burgers. Again, same weight as Tesco's, but these were only 99p, whereas in Tesco's I'm paying 135. So straight away a 36p saving. And I have picked up a pack of puff pastry. That was 69p. It's only 340 grams, so it's still a good weight. But um, I should probably put that in the fridge rather than the freezer and use it either tomorrow or Monday because it's Saturday today. And these are for tonight two toffee cheesecakes. They're only a pound, so we've got two of those. And I'm going to then get all the non frozen stuff out to show you. Right, we're back with the like I'll call them dry goods. These Tesco's do them at 50p, and I do love Tesco's, I'm not putting them down, but these were four for a pound. So I'm gonna pick them up in farm foods instead. But they had um roast chicken, they had the curry ones and sweet chilli. This is the only flavour we've not tried so far, but 12 packets for £3 of a brand name was good. We've got custard creams, I can't remember what the individual price was either, sorry, but custard creams was four packets for a pound, and you've got to love a custard cream. The white on wheel tea cakes, <coughs> they were two for a pound. Um, the penguin bars were, no, I think it's 49p. I will look on the receipt, but I don't know where I've put that right this second. We've got some pure butter. Oh, it was Irish. Um, that was 99p. I think normally you get 250 grams, but the amount of money we're saving compared to other supermarkets, it's like a 50p saving, so I don't mind missing out on a little bit. Then we've got, I have no idea what it's going to be like, curry mango sauce. It's only a small pot, but it was 39p, and for Heinz, that's an amazing price. The Jamaican cakes were 49p and we've had apple puffs before from other shops but these ones are individually wrapped because if I was to give my husband a normal packet he'll eat all eight. This time I can control him, make him last longer. And because it's pancake day on Tuesday and we are adults, don't forget, but chocolate pancake mix, we don't need to know who it's by, it's just chocolate. They were, 29. no, I'm going to say 49 each. This flavour I've never seen anywhere, ginger cookie and um, Twixes, they're fun size I think. But um, they were 99p for 14. But it just sounds interesting, doesn't it? Ginger and cookie. I know you can buy these sort of this brand and that in home bargains, but we've never seen an orange one. And I'm pretty sure this brand is suitable for vegetarians. Let me just flip, flip it over. Um. Yeah, underneath there it does actually say suitable vegetarians. Um, the Lola ones we haven't looked yet, 
but they were 10 for 99p for an individual cake that's quite a good price I'm not bothered about that because obviously grandchildren aren't allowed over yet um, we got six coffees I really can't I should find the receipt so I'm giving instructions in the background I'm gonna say they're 59 or 69p if it is different I will put it in the description but they're ideal for hubby's work because they're not keeping their kitchen stocked with drinks and it's not fair to go all day without a drink then we've got a loaf of sun blessed bread 39p it feels nice and soft sometimes they feel a bit stiff when you get a cheaper one the all right so the coffees four boxes was 196 so they're 49p each cheaper than what i've said sorry the emerge drinks for a litre we have brought them in home bargains before at 59p so that'd be 118 but in farm foods they're two for a pound so a good saving i've got a litre of washing up liquid 79p and their 15 eggs are only 99p so again i'm saving like 19p right in there so all these little bits yeah that's what i said so every time you pick up these you're saving 19p and those those little bits of savings add up even before you start doing these sort of savings but all of what I've shown you so far if I can I might have to put a light on um, it came to £52.53 but while I was asking the man about the free for £10, he said if you go to the website, when you put in your email, they will send you vouchers, which is what they did. Well, we're going around the shop with Kfro. So we got £5 off because we spent £50. So it came to £47 and 53p. So I'm happy with that. I've got way too much food for a week. So next week I won't have to get the evening meals, or well, not many, but the best thing was as well, the cashier told me that we've got a farm foods coming to the town I live in, so that is going to be brilliant news, because I'm well impressed with what I got today. So I'll see you again another time, bye for now.